In this video, I will answer the question, what was the space race, and add much more to tell the story of it. As you can see, I will explain it in Minecraft just to make it easier for me to make and for you to understand. To start this off, what was the space race? Well, it was a competition between the USSR and the United States. And if you didn't know already, the USSR is the former name of Russia. It lasted exactly from August 2, 1955 to July 17, 1975, exactly 7,289 days. During the space race, both countries showed how their technology was more advanced. However, the story of the space race is far from boring. It's amazing. First up, we have the very first satellite in space, the Sputnik 1, launched on October 4th, 1957 by the Soviet Union. This flight was unmanned and was the mark for the beginning of the space race. The Soviets later launched the second Sputnik on November 3rd, 1957, just a month later. The special thing about the satellite was it carried the first living organism from Earth into space, a street dog named Laika. Now, for the U.S., their first satellite sent up was the Explorer 1. It launched in 1958 and was the starting point for the United States' amazing space journey. See, the USSR at this point is proving that they have better technology than the U.S., but you'll see the surprising outcome. Next up, the Soviets launched Luna 1 in January of 1959. Its goal was to land on the moon, but surprisingly, it missed the moon and became the first human-made object to orbit the sun. Now I'm going to skip a couple of years for the sake of time, but now we're at Mercury 2. In January 1961, Ham the Chimpanzee on the Mercury 2 was the first chimp in space and spent 16 minutes in space and was able to perform basic functions. And thankfully, he returned safely. He also lived until 1983 where he died of liver failure and a heart attack, which is the leading cause of death for chimps. By the way, this is from America. The next mission is legendary, the Vostok 1. On this flight was Yuri Gagarin, the very first human in space. This happened in April 1961. Of course, he was Russian, and he thankfully made it back safely. Let's pause here for a second. It seems like the USSR is going to win, but that thought is going to vanish in a second. In May 1961, the US launched Mercury 3, which had an astronaut, Alan Shepard, the first American in space. He spent 15 minutes in space before coming back safe and sound. This mission I'm about to talk about is very important in the space race. The Soviets launched Alexei Leonov on the Voshkar 2 in March of 1965. He took the first human spacewalk 12 minutes outside of the spacecraft. He'll be mentioned later in the video. Now we skip ahead to the Apollo missions, starting with the Apollo 1. During a test flight, all three soon-to-be astronauts, Gus Grissom, Ed White and Roger Chaffee entered the cabin and tried to get used to everything, but unfortunately, a spark lit in the cabin, and since oxygen spreads fire really quickly, all three scientists are burned to death. Fun fact, Neil Armstrong knew all three astronauts that passed away on Apollo 1. Speaking of Neil Armstrong, let me talk about the Apollo 11. This flight occurred in July 1969, and the astronauts on this mission were Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. So, why'd we skip all the way to Apollo 11? This was the flight where the United States landed on the moon. And if you didn't know, Michael Collins never stepped on the moon, but he stayed in the capsule to ensure the other astronauts could get home safely. But this is it, you would think. But no, the US sent another five Apollo missions to land on the moon, Apollo 12 and 14 through 17. Apollo 13 is a whole different story. I might make a video on it. And there's still more. On July 17, 1975, on the Apollo Soyuz mission, the two countries' spacecrafts linked together and the astronauts all shook hands, marking the end of the space race. And guess who was on this mission? Alexei Leonov. And here's one last fun fact Apollo 12 was struck twice mid launch and it temporarily shut off their guidance and electricity systems, but they still continued to land on the moon. And yeah, that's about it. If you like this video, remember to subscribe because I think we can get to 500 subs by the end of the year and we're super close, so make sure to share this video too. Um, one last thing. I spent a while on this video, so I decided to add the best ending possible. Feel free to vibe to the outro music and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.